what is going on my homies welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be installing a shifter boot on the nissan Sentra. this is just going to be a short clip, uh, video for you guys to know how to install a boot on your car as you can see we have it right here this is what we're going to be replacing you see mine's already nice and old cracked it's kind of faded and everything so we're going to be changing this out now this is for basically if, if your car has a shift boot that looks like this then this is the video for you basically we're gonna take this out okay just like that i'm gonna take my oh jesus got this thing on tight I think I have a lock with the nut. This guy will get a wrench. Well, actually, since David took all the tools, I really don't have any wrenches on me. So we're just gonna do it this way. Untighten it. There you go. This shift sounds pretty heavy. It's from Skunk Racing. I honestly really, really like it. It's a really good quality shift knob. All right, so we're gonna take the nut off. This is just a nut that locks with the top, with the bottom of the shifter, so so that that way it doesn't um, screw off or or anything when I'm driving. Okay, so we'll take this off just like that. And if you guys do have a cigarette lighter. Just unplug it. So I'm just going to unplug the cigarette lighter. Okay. So once you have your shifter boot out from its housing and everything, just take out everything so it doesn't fall all over the place. Okay. So once you have it out, flip it over. There is a few screws that you gotta take out from the back that holds in the boot in place. So we just take off the two screws. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you do like the content. So then you just pop it out. It's gonna come back like that. And there is a metal retainer inside of the boot. Now this retainer is the one that basically makes the pressure. So this is the one that goes right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it basically goes like that and it clips in to make the pressure so the boot doesn't move out or anything. So now that we got that out, old boot, new boot. So the way I'm going to be installing this is I'm going to throw it in like that. And we don't want it too high or too short. So maybe just right around there. I feel like that's a good amount. Right there. So now all I'm gonna do is put this retainer back in. So we got the retainer in, inside. Now obviously all this extra boot I am gonna be cutting off, but I'm just gonna put it back on just to make sure I got enough boot in. So, so what I'm doing now is just test fitting it just to make sure I'm able to go into all the gears without pulling on the shift. Put this back on here just like that. 
grab the screws. So then we're actually gonna install this back in. Make sure to connect your cigarette lighter back on. You don't wanna put everything back and next thing you know you forget to plug in back your cigarette lighter and now you don't have a cigarette lighter. So then, clip it back into place. Put all the dash parts that you did take off. Look at that guys. Nice little shifter boot. What do you guys think? Let's see if this shifts into all gears. Okay, that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reverse. Cool. Alright. So now that we got that new shifter boot in, finally time to get rid of this old crusty boot. If you guys do like the video, make sure to go hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you are already subscribed, go hit that like button if you do like the content. I really appreciate you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.